You would think that an island chain in the middle of the ocean would be a major target for land falling hurricanes. But for Hawaii, that's not the case. In fact, there has only been two land falling hurricanes on record. Hurricane Dot in 1959 and Hurricane Iniki in 1992. That doesn't mean they don't feel many effects of tropical systems that come close to the islands. According to NOAA's historical hurricane database, around 30 hurricanes have passed within 200 nautical miles of the Big Island, Maui, Honolulu, or Kauai from 1950 through 2021. A landfalling hurricane in Hawaii is rare due to several factors. Hawaii is located in the Central Pacific, a region that normally sees fewer hurricanes compared to the Atlantic or Eastern Pacific, which is separated by 140 degrees west. The Eastern Pacific Basin will normally see around 15 named storms, eight hurricanes, and four major hurricanes, while the Central Pacific Basin, which Hawaii is a part of, will only see an average of four named storms, three hurricanes, and two major hurricanes. One of the key reasons hurricanes don't end up striking the island chain is due to the subtropical high pressure system, which tends to steer hurricanes away from the islands. This high pressure system often acts as a barrier, pushing hurricanes either to the south or to the north of Hawaii, reducing the likelihood of a direct hit. Another major factor is the ocean temperatures around Hawaii. Normally, these waters are not normally as warm as the others found in different regions of the Pacific where hurricanes are more likely to occur. To have a tropical cyclone strengthen, sea surface temperatures typically need to be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The waters around Hawaii can reach these temperatures, but they're often cooler because this subtropical high can help bring in cooler waters from the north, especially way east of the islands, which can limit development and intensification for hurricanes. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Hunter Forrest.